Welcome, Braden. It's so great. You've got a family movie for us to check out first today. I do, and I think you would be good as a being good a schnitzel, schnitzel basher. <laughs> basher. <laughs> basher. You might not know when to stop, though. No, it would be very thin stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do have a family movie, and it's A Secret Life of Pets. I've been waiting for this one for a long time because I love animated film. Mm, same. Uh, particularly when there's animals, because I like to... I give my pets personalities, whether they like it or not, and accents. In fact, both of my cats currently have a German accent, just at the moment. Um, so th this sort of thing really appeals to me. And what I love about kids' films is um, they did it with Despicable Me as well, same creators. They make it entertaining for the adults. Haven't yeah. we look at this? Shut it, human. Let's do this now. Advantage me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just ignore what just happened, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, that looks that awesome! Is that is Snowball the Bunny. He's a gangster that kind of runs the underground pets that no longer have, have owners. Very funny movie, well worth seeing, and one of those quotable quote movies where you'll be saying things for, forever after. And okay. looks beautiful as well. I mean, you know, the way TVs are, the way animation yeah. has come over the years, it just looks beautiful. You just sink into another world. Yeah, well, it's funny you say that, because I was watching it, and there's a scene where they're in, they're in the river in New York, and water, I always look at water to see how real yeah, it looks, wow. and it looks really real. good. So, oh, um, nice. well worth checking out that one. Uh, Mel and I managed to get along to a preview of this one. It's actually out next week, but I'm getting in early, because I think you need to know about this film. Captain Fantastic. Yeah. Now I was with someone who wasn't a massive fan of this. I don't. Th I think she was in for something more like The Secret Life of Pets and, than Captain Fantastic. But you enjoyed it too, I as did I. I loved it, and my husband enjoyed it as well. It's beautiful, very emotional. Yeah. This is basically about a, a father who lives off the grid with his family. His wife, unfortunately, she is. Um, well, she's not well. She's mentally unwell, and she actually passes away. And then it's about the transition back into into the real world. What I loved about it is that they didn't fall into that trap of fart jokes about reintegrating back into society. Yeah. It was very real, very raw. Here's a moment where they're sitting in a diner looking at, uh, at the menu options. They have hot dogs. Oops, cola. Poison water. Well, I'm so happy that our family is together. It's all local and organic. How did you kill those chickens? With an axe or a knife? <laughs> I, they're the rotisserie chicken, so you buy it on it's already dead. And when they said off the grid, they meant off the grid as in they were living in a cabin in the woods, yeah. essentially. I really, I really loved it. It left me feeling quite yeah. special. I enjoyed it too. One criticism I could have done with maybe 20 minutes shorter on this right. one. Yeah, I say that about everything. Yeah, days. you do. <laughs> no, and I'm really pleased you showed us that because for some unknown reason in my head, I was expecting a Marvel movie. <laughs> and I've yeah. heard people say that. So um, well worth checking this yeah. one out. The acting's great. I really enjoyed the story too. Uh, not a big Star Trek fan myself, but this one popped up and I, I've got this saved on Apple TV for the love of Spock uh, about the life of Leonard Nimoy and it's directed by his son. Have a wee look. In November of last year, I approached Dad about the idea of doing a documentary on Spock as a part of the celebration of the anniversary of the original series. And the minute I suggested this to Dad, he was in. When word came out today that actor Leonard Nimoy had died, the president said, I love Spock. So I think whether you're a fan or not, it'd be well worth checking that out because it's a great part of uh, popular culture history. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and do we need another movie about a high-flying New Yorker divorcing and moving to a small town and falling in love with someone that makes it a bit tricky? Maybe not, but there's one out on Netflix now <laughs> called In Lawfully Yours, and it caught my eye. Have a wee look at this. The pastor of a church has to maintain a higher standard of decency. We will only be in decent. Oh, no one gets me. Hey, Chazzy. Jesse and Ben are getting awful friendly. How am I supposed to fix my marriage when my wife is being lusted after by your pastor? Jesse, we were really good ones. I want to get that back. That is all that I ever wanted you to say before you cheated. I'm worried about our future. I think that maybe you should be worried about your future. What? <laughs> So that's in Lawfully Yours, that's on Netflix now, but my pick would be get along next week to Captain Fantastic. Yeah, Captain Fantastic, magnificent. Yeah. Hey Brayden, thank you so much no for worries. keeping us entertained, heaps of things to think about there. I will catch up with you tomorrow to see what's on over the weekend.